energy up. <laughs> I'm a podcaster. Is this podcaster. is this the latest we've ever potted? I think it is. Probably. Wow, it's nine thirty. <laughs> yeah, bro. And we're about to skip ahead an hour. Daylight savings, making the impossible possible. And that oop. Okay. Uh, we ate at BJ's Restaurant and Brew House in Elk Grove, California today. And we're out there because we saw niece and nephew Jason Mia Fisher perform in Newsies at a uh, production down there. A theater production. Fantastic. Anytime you can get 30 people dancing in sync to near perfection on a stage... I'm impressed. I'm blown away. It's a good time. I, I couldn't get enough fit. They were they they were killing it. Uh, and then we dined at BJ's um, with your parents. The Newsies was at two o'clock. Did I mention it was Newsies? Newsies was at two o'clock, and it, we got out of out of there around four thirty. <clears throat> after we got all the autographs and acted like paparazzi to Jace and Mia Fisher, uh, we know we went over to BJ's. Because uh, something that uh, they make everything. Lennox was like, what kind of food do they make? And we said everything. <laughs> and then he said, do they make Nutty Buddy? And we were like, well. Uh, but just universal appeal. Um, and I, I hadn't been there in 20 years. Yeah. At least. It's been about 15 for me. Yeah. And it was a couple minutes away from uh, where they performed. Because Sumnus Oaks High School. Uh, so we get there at 5.01. Okay, so it was six people. It was me, you, Luna Lennox, and your parents, Alan and Liz Fisher. Six people. Walk in right away. Mad pack, dude. Like, it was shoulder to shoulder in front of the hostess table area. There was nowhere to sit. Uh, so you just, you put in a party for six. You gave them your phone number. And we walked right back out because there was no room. Yeah, not, not even any room to stand in the lobby. Yeah, and and it was raining outside, but we <laughs> took cover under over the tiny, uh, uh, pitiful roof, tiny uh, awning, uh, in in the rain and cold because there was nowhere to, nowhere to stand on the inside. But they said ten to fifteen minutes they'll text you. Okay, we're waiting, we're waiting. Lo and behold, we see Lisa Fisher walking. So. Newsies had a two o'clock show and a seven o'clock show. We went to the two. Uh, your brother and his wife and two daughters went to the seven o'clock show, and yeah. they decided to go to BJ's to pregame. What a coincidence! Perfect timing. It's like Casablanca. Out of all the chain restaurants <laughs> in all the world, in all of El Grove, you walk into this one. Uh, but we were like, "Hey, the more the merrier." So you went back inside. Add four. So it was going to be a party of 10. So, but they were up front. They said 10 to 15 minutes initially with six. And then it's, it was like veering on 15 minutes right about then. They said, well, it's going to be another 10 to 15 since you have 10 now. I'm like, okay, no problem. I had to go back outside. <laughs> and it was, and we're, we're like standing in front, in front of the door. It's, it's uh, the two door. The left and the right side, they open up the entrance. Uh, we were standing next to the left hand door. Uh, and then, like, we were all huddled up. Like, we were uh, unhoused or something. We were just missing the tents. Your brother was <laughs> your brother was constantly having to get out of the way of people trying to get in or out of the restaurant. It was Bedlam. Mm. It was mayhem and cheese. My bootay got hit once or twice by the swinging door. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was just uh, it was unrelenting. So initially, the and we, we knew there would be more of a wait. But in total, we waited 40 minutes for a table, which is more than the 20 to 30 they initially quoted us. Okay. It, it was busy. It, it's Saturday night, uh, 5, 5.30-ish. Um, it was super busy. I, I get it. Okay. Not a big deal. So they walk us in. We're walking, we're walking, and we pass by one of those giant booths with like uh, 
booth seating around three sides of the table could fit eight to ten people walk by that one and it was full there, there's people in there so i was like oh we're gonna get something like that they walk us to a regular booth now it's longer than a normal booth that sits two people on each side but there was room for three to four people on each side yes eight total four on each side would have been cozy yeah we had five on each side. <laughs> so they, they knew we had ten. They sit us on some place that holds eight. Max we, of eight. <laughs> we were like scrunched up there. Like New York City subway in Manhattan. <laughs> like shoulder to shoulder. Like Mardi Gras. Uh, I was like, what the hell, dude? Like, I mean, I was sitting next to Liz Fisher. And I was like, come on over here, girl. Get a little closer. Uh I, I don't know why they did that. Well, I mean, they were super busy. There's probably only a few of those giant booths, but they should let us know. I And I we passed by a few of those, the type of seating where it's like three or four tables pushed together. Yeah. So like one side's a bench, the other side is just yeah. individual chairs. We passed by as like, oh, I thought, I kept thinking we were going to stop, but yeah. we didn't. And I was like, oh, I don't like when they push those tables together, but I was like, eh, whatever. But yeah, they it was... Way it was way too close for comfort. <clears throat> at, at one point, there was another regular booth right uh, next to us, and you brought up the idea of kicking the kids over there. There were four kids. Yeah, I suggested Kaylee Quinn, Lennox Luna. Let's ask the waiter or yeah. waitress if we can move the kids over to the kitty table. Yeah, like Thanksgiving. <laughs> All you kids go over there. The adults have got some talking to do. Let's talk about finances and math. The and kids, investments. The kids weren't keen on that idea they weren't having it no nah. uh and so alan and your brother alan's on one side of uh of the bench at the very end and brent is on the other side at the very end and i said alan and brent are are your ass cheeks like hanging off and they're <laughs> like no our butts are fine but like our the legs are, are aren't in the booth like they uh. had to push up against uh like they they use the they use their uh, left leg well Alan's left leg Brent's right to to brace themselves to steady themselves yeah. to balance themselves. I was like, this is this is no bueno. So that's the the extreme on that end. I'm on the other end of the bench. Yes, pressed up against the wall. Wall, right. So I'm squished. I literally am turned sideways. Yeah. Most of the time, I had my arm around your shoulders just because there's no room for my for for me to have two arms yeah. in this in this scenario. Yeah. And. By the end, I had a few flashes of claustrophobia. Yeah. And I had to like mentally like talk myself down. Yeah. Because it every once in a while, I was just like, I'm right by a wall. I literally can't move. I'm turned <laughs> sideways. What if I a to, gunman like, <laughs> pops in here? <laughs> what yeah. if I have to pee? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it comes into play because you got tacos. So it's not like <laughs> you can just kind of minimize your movement just shoveling a spoon into your mouth you had to like grab your taco turn it uh 90 degrees and that was a whole ordeal you and i sort of had to take turns like who got to use two arms at one time to eat their food because there just wasn't enough space yeah uh and uh so our our waiter comes i don't know his name but he looked like topher grace from that 70s show so i will call him topher uh but he comes up He's like, yeah, how are you? Okay, whatever. Uh, can I get you started on drinks? Now, we're, we're 10 people, so everything takes a long time. Okay, I get it. But I like waiters who start, just come up and say, can I get you guys started with some water? And then they pop back with 10 waters or 8 waters or 2 or whatever. But like, get to it. <laughs> Don't, what would you guys like to drink? And there were a few strawberry lemonades. Someone had a cream soda. At the table. So uh, he takes our beverage orders. Uh, first of all, well, that, just five minutes for Topher. It was five minutes for Topher just to get there. So we're sitting. We're, so we're always, we, had, we we stood in the rain. We're, uh, we're uh, shoulder to shoulder, super tight, uh, sitting practically all over each other. It's like the, 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 uh, the game, right hand on red. Square. Oh, Twister. Twister. It's like a game of Twister 
Um, and another thing is that, like, I lift, honey. I'm really strong. I'm a chunky boy. My shoulders are wide. I I work my boulder shoulders. I'm really strong. Like, we it, it wasn't like five kids. It was five adults. <laughs> and did I mention I lift and I'm really wide and I work my shoulders? So I'm a wide person. It was just, it was ridiculous that they put us there. <laughs> it was. A, should we have gone back and demanded different seating? Yes. I thought. Put the tables together. <sighs> that that That's always an option. Yeah. I kept wondering, but then as more time went on, I was like, well, now we've been here 10 minutes. Now we've been here 20, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So might as well just see it through to the end. Yeah. Someone should have taken the lead. I should have taken the lead. Alan Fisher should have... T- Someone should have said something. As soon as she stopped us at that booth, I should have said, Are you joking? <laughs> I was like, okay, it's a couple of uh, picnic benches over here. Uh, this is not going to be fun. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, kids, yeah. Quinn, uh, Lennox, Luna, Kaylee, fine. They're <laughs> tiny. But uh, uh, grown adults... Ridiculous. Ridic- I kept... Re- like, uh, Alan was on the end. Quinn was right next to right next to him. And then Liz was next. And then I was next to Liz. I forgot Quinn was there half the time. <laughs> I couldn't every- see her. <laughs> every once in a while, your mom Liz would like lean back and lean forward. And I was like, oh, Quinn. Quinn's here. Like, what the heck? What the heck is going on? Okay. Not so- conducive to like conversation. Oh, yeah. Or even like I couldn't even see who's down at the other end. Yeah. Couldn't hear, couldn't see. Uh so Topher takes our uh drinks order. He's like, okay, beer right back. Okay, five minutes. He comes back with some of our drinks. Like some waters, a couple strawberry lemonades. And he's like, Okay, well more I got more drinks coming. Well what what happened like when the waiter has that huge tray? That huge uh, circular tray that they carry through. They're proud. They went to waiter school or whatever. Um, they gra- graduated magna cum laude in waiter school. And then they, and they, they could just start dishing stuff out from that. Gen- he was making like multiple trips. And I realized we're a party of 10. But brew, like help us out here. We've already been waiting for 40 minutes in the rain. We're, we're scrunched together here. <laughs> this... Uh, this is, this is madness. So two waves of drinks. Come, come. Okay, so we're all sitting there. And then he leaves again. And then he comes back five minutes later to take our order. We're like, oh, jeez, thank goodness. <laughs> all righty. Let's, uh, let's put our food orders in. So we put our food orders in. It was nearing an hour at this point. So 40-ish minutes to get to the table. Uh almost an hour just to put our food order in and we're sitting there it takes forever dude it takes about 25 minutes to get our food the table next to us that we almost made the kids table uh the party of four came after us they got their food yeah i hate when that happens like we've been sitting here (laughs) sitting here like sardines yeah sitting here like sardines we were out in the rain uh we're hungry uh, they they got their food before us. It's like they're just they're laughing in our <laughs> face. They're throwing it in our face. They're showing no respect. Our food comes twenty five minutes after we order it, so it's over an hour, and we're finally eating. But wait! But wait! There's more. Uh, the drinks were in waves. The food came in waves. So three people would get their food. Topher would disappear. Five minutes, another two people would get their foods. Topher would five ten minutes. So from the first person, I forget who got the first uh, order of food. It was three people, three dishes. Uh, up until Alan Fisher, who's paying for this whole shebang. The the time between the first entree landing at our table to Alan Fisher, the last entree, fifteen minutes. 15 minutes and it was it was it was literally like one side of the table was all eating 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 and me and you alan quinn liz we're just sitting there like and listen i'm all for eat because eat it while it's hot 
I don't want you to wait for us. Dig in. But on the other hand, I'm like, oh, dude. <laughs> it was getting a little stressful, though, because uh, Brent and Lisa's family had to get to the next showing of Newsies. Right. So time was of the essence. Right. At first, it was like, oh, we have plenty of time. And then as the minutes ticked yeah. by... I was getting a little anxious, and I'm sure everyone else was. Yeah. Because we were really, like, cutting it close. Yeah, like, bring the food and bring some, bring some uh, to-go boxes. Grand <laughs> opening, grand closing. Uh, Quinn, uh, Quinn Fisher, who I, I visually <laughs> couldn't see most of the time or forgot she was there, uh, she... She got her food very late. So she just started like picking at other and people were giving her food. The yeah. people who had food, half the people, <laughs> it's the haves and the have nots. It's it's a it's a t- tale as old as time in the economic divide, honey. Uh, but so she started eating other people's food. People started giving her food. And then she got this giant plate of pasta near the end. And they had to leave. It's <laughs> like uh, 80% of that pasta is on our counter. We, we got the to-go container. So poor Quinn w- was just kind of uh, uh, pecking at other people's. And by, by all means, she was more than welcome to. And people were giving her food uh, because well, <laughs> they felt bad for her. And they had to leave. Right. Brent and Lisa's family had to leave. Uh, and so... She didn't get a chance to really enjoy her pasta. Like I said, uh, the majority of it sits on our counter in a styrofoam to-go uh, container. Uh, so we were there. We got there initially at 5.01 p.m. We were there till 7.15 p.m. <laughs> and it's not like it's not like one of these eight-course tasting menus like on Below Deck. And it's not like we had drinks and we had appetizers and then we had dessert and we had coffee at the end. Nope. And we, Entenmann's at the end. <laughs> coffee cake. Drake's coffee. No, no. It was, it was water it was and co- an entree. Yeah. With no drinks, appetizers. Drinks and one plate. Right. What the hell, dude? That entire establishment is just chaotic. Like, just getting from our table back to the exit... Yeah. So packed. Yeah, very I, little room, very little walking space. It was, I, I couldn't wait to get out of there. Yeah. I was, I needed some fresh air and open space. Yeah. Uh, so during this uh, time of tumult, honey, uh, we started talking about Alan Paid. God bless him. Thank you, Alan. Um, but I said, I would tip. 12 percent maybe 10 because they always say you tip 15 to 20 percent 15 for 20 eh, percent if they go above and beyond i think 20 should be the standard yeah well you're That's always just me <laughs> you're always trying to surge above 20 i'm always trying to uh retreat back to 15 but tonight's din din and, and the food was fine i i like i i got the ahi uh poke salad uh you got the mahi mahi Tacos, although they forgot black beans and they forgot one of your sauces. Yeah, but my tacos were delicious. Yeah. It was so good. My my Enlightened, which is uh, their uh, low in calorie. And by the way, they, they define low in calorie as 700 calories or less. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> but their Enlightened seared ahi salad. Uh, it, it was good. It was fine. It was okay. It wasn't bad. Um, but, uh, well that actually the, 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 it, the tuna was pink in the middle where they just sear the top and the bottom. Right. And that was the first time I had that. And I was like, well, I, I just wanted to try it just to try it before That's I die. That's surprised me because you don't like sushi. You don't like raw fish. Correct. Yeah. How, so how, how'd you like it? Eh. <laughs> I don't got, cook it. Why don't you cook it? <laughs> Keep it on the freaking grill. Well, is this something that uh, rich people do because they're so bored and they just want anything <laughs> exciting happening there? Why don't you cook the freaking fish through? Because then it wouldn't be a pretty pink color. Cook it till it's white. Uh, tonight, well, tonight's dinner, honey. The, our total came to two hundred thirty-two dollars and sixty-nine cents. Ten people dining. Uh, what what would you have tipped, honey? I I would. I would have. T- I, I think ten percent is cruel, but I would have definitely gone twelve percent, maybe ten, if uh, Topher. Well, Topher actually was a nice. Who, who knows what the hell the was going thing. on? There was so much wrong, but there was 
like Topher was a nice guy. Another thing is how they brought our plates. It'd be just three random three random waiters and waitresses, like throw it on her. They they didn't know what dish went to. They would just hand it, and we would we're, we're on a giant long picnic table. So I would have to reach over, um, and then they would disappear. And then three different people, ten minutes later, with more food. They don't know what dish is going to who, and they kind of just throw it at us, and we have to take it and distribute it. That was another thing. Like it was just. I, I think when you go to an establishment of that of that size, it's super busy. It's super busy. I think you lose the personal touch. Yeah, Topher can't handle all of his tables. Right, he needs help bringing the food up. But whose fault is it? Who's who's to blame? And should Topher pay the price? I don't know who's to blame, but someone's to blame. <laughs> Not little Topher. Bj, <laughs> turn those initials around. Jb. Joe Biden. <gasps> Blame him, okay? The Great Resignation. Build back America better. What, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Uh, our total was $232.69. I would have tipped 12%. I would have tipped uh, 20. You would have tipped 20. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that Topher will be take that 20% and like, whoa. I'm going to continue giving a terrible service or no, it, it's not his fault. It's BJ's <laughs> fault. It's, it's the great resignation. It's the labor shortage. It's Joe Biden. It's uh, Donald Trump's fault. It's Gavin News. I, I don't, it's someone's fault. It's not our fault. <laughs> it's not, someone is to blame. And so someone must be punished. I would have tipped 12%. You would have tipped 20. Uh, your dad, Alan Fisher tipped a cool five, zero $50. Twenty-two percent. Twenty-two percent. I like it. That is above and beyond. <laughs> I hope Topher has a great night, and I hope he knows that he's a valuable employee. I've gone over twenty percent, but the service has to be spectacular. Not uh, two hours and fourteen minutes for one entree and a bunch of waters. <laughs> okay, there were a couple of strawberry lemonades and a cream soda in there. Uh, I, I, the service was just abysmal, terrible. Worst thing ever. Like, I'm not swearing off BJ's, but BJ's when it's super busy. Yeah. Never again. You got to go on the off hours. Yeah. Whatever those are. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So. You know when we watch Below Deck? Yes. You oh, know that show Below Deck we love? The best television show in the history of the broadcasting medium. Yeah. And you know sometimes the service gets messed ah, up. The chef yeah. makes a mistake. Yeah. And. Don't Things you happen, don't right. you feel a bit prickly when the guests are like getting yeah, angry and yeah, like I like it when they're just like understanding and yeah, it's okay like yeah. we're all human yeah so that's how I try to be yeah yeah well that's me watching a TV show I'm like oh man those rich people are mean but tonight <laughs> we should have been up in arms we should have grabbed our pitchforks uh I, well I I just I've been in customer service. And I do transparency. If you need an air conditioner and I find out that the air conditioner is going to take 10 days, I will keep you updated every day. Like, hey, this is going to take 10 days. Okay, that's Monday. Maybe Wednesday, give you a call back. Hey, we're still on track for it's coming in seven days. Okay, but you, you keep them abreast of what's going on. Topher was... Barely anywhere to be seen. The randos, BJ's employees who kept delivering stuff, they had no clue. Uh, so just, oh, your stuff's coming up. or Well, timing, timing, timing. There's 10 people. You don't serve five people food and then 15 to 20 minutes later serve the other five people food. And this is all coming in waves. Yeah. Three people got their food. Two people got their food. Five minutes later. Two more people got Five minutes later. It's just like, ugh, like... I totally agree with that. I I would have been happy with a complimentary paizuki. Yeah. We were not offered a complimentary yeah. dessert. Well, Topher was like, can we get you anything else? Would you like to look at our dessert menu? Your dad was like, no, <laughs> no, 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 not really, no, no. Yeah, uh, never again. Food, good. Yeah, good food. Solid effort, although I don't understand why people don't cook their tuna. But whatever. Uh, but service, huge miss. And I'll be sending them an email with the hopes of getting a 20% off coupon, BJ's. If you hear me, are you out there? Uh, but yeah, I, 
I there's no one to blame, but I gotta blame someone. So I blame BJ's and their uh, and just poor service. We could blame everyone. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, <laughs> Topher, the randos, the girl that seated us, Ice Spice. She looked like Ice Spice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that was our evening. And uh, is that it, honey? It's scary out there in the world after dark. Yes. I Thank goodness it wasn't raining. Thank goodness we're home. We're safe. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to go to a busy restaurant at night ever again. Yes. Yes. How about I just cook at home for us? Yes. Well, in the midst of our two hour and 14 minute uh, journey into hell, uh, I whispered to you, we should have gone home to eat. <laughs> Oh, we should have gone to McDonald's because you ain't going to get stuck at McDonald's for two hours and 40 minutes. Anyways. Okay, are we done, honey? Yeah. Okay, well, we're done. Oh, bye-bye.